Hey everyone, welcome back to our movie news. Now this is a video I did not expect doing. We haven't talked much about the Snyderverse this year, and as the DCU has been creeping closer and closer, the hope of the Snyderverse being restored has unfortunately been dying. But Zack Snyder has just said something absolutely fascinating in his latest interview with Empire. He was asked if he would be open to finishing his Justice League trilogy in animated form, and he said, yeah, absolutely. That would be fun. That would be cool. Now, I've said for a while now that I think animation is one of the most realistic options for a Snyderverse restoration, but I've always had pushback from certain Snyder fans who say it's live action or nothing, which to me is just ridiculous because you're basically saying you'd rather us not seeing the Snyderverse completed at all than being completed in animation. I just don't get that. Beggars can't be choosers. We're on this planet for a limited time only, and I think to only want the Snyderverse restored if it meets your exact requirements really is a huge mistake. I get not compromising, and I get trying to defend Snyder's vision, but Zack Snyder has said right there that he would absolutely finish his Justice League trilogy in animated form. He would be very happy to make it in animation, and I'm sure someone somewhere will try and twist this and do some if buts and maybes, but as far as I'm aware, he has made this very clear clear. I think animation is one of the most realistic forms of restoration. I really think that live action is now out of the picture, with the actors aging and moving on, and the DCU coming into the forefront, which leaves graphic novels or animation as the last two options, and I seriously think animation is the way to go. It's the best for both worlds. It can still be a movie, but won't overshadow the DCU. You can get the actors back to do the voiceovers, or hire voiceover actors if they can't make it, or don't want to do it, the budgets will be lower so there is less risk for the studio, and you can put it in the cinema like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and possibly get a large box office sum for it. And DC Studios is doing a Jurassic League animated movie disconnected to the DCU, which will be released in cinemas anyway, so DC is open to that kind of idea. Now when I say animation, I don't mean 2D animation that occurs in many kids' cartoons. I'm talking about high quality quality animation like the Spider-Verse films or the Clone Wars show. That kind of 3D, high quality cinematic animation. Snyder would make that look incredible, and the possibilities would be endless. This is something I feel fans really should get on board with because I think it's our only chance of seeing it happen. I don't want to have a situation where we hear in a couple of years time from some insiders that DC Studios was contemplating offering Snyder a chance to make his Justice League sequels in animation after hearing this interview, but due to the negativity they saw from Snyder fans surrounding this idea, they decided to not bother doing it. I don't want to be in that situation. Sure, aim for live action, but I think this closed-minded rejection of anything other than live action is such a dangerous mindset to have because you could end up missing out on seeing Snyder actually make these sequels. This live action or nothing mindset is such a bad idea because you know what studios here when they see fans saying live action or nothing, they go, okay, then nothing it is. They're not going to bend the knee to some fans who they think are trying to bully the studio into having it their way. And if you still think live action or nothing, then you're telling me you would rather not ever see these movies created than seeing them be made in high quality animation. That to me is just bonkers. Saying live action or nothing about Restore the Snyderverse is like saying release the Snyder Cut, but it can't be on streaming. It has to be in the theatres. If the Snyder Cut fandom had that mindset, then we would still be campaigning for the Snyder Cut today. You know why we got the Snyder Cut? Because we were just asking for the Snyder Cut to be released, and Warner Brothers saw an opportunity. Every fan would have loved the Snyder Cut to be released in the cinema, but we were happy with it on streaming because it meant we got to see Snyder's vision. We weren't even asking them for to complete the cut. We just wanted to see the current, unfinished version of his movie, incomplete CGI and uncut scenes, all of it. We were just happy to see his cut of the film. It was Warner Brothers and Snyder that decided to go above and beyond that and complete the movie. The thought of missing out on the Snyder cut if fans had the mentality they have now back then scares me. 
I would have never seen the movie that I can proudly say is one of my favourites of all time. Sure, I would have loved it to be released in the cinema, but I was just grateful I got to see Snyder's vision. It wasn't exactly how I wanted it to be released, but I was just happy I got to see the movie that was never going to be released. And that's how I think us fans should react with this Snyderverse news. But now it seems like fans have these inflated expectations and demands. I'm just glad this mindset didn't exist before the Snyder Cut was released, because we would have fans rejecting the idea of it being put onto streaming because it didn't meet their demands. They would have been saying in the cinema or nothing, and Warner Brothers would have gone, well I guess we're doing nothing then. It's like now because we got the Snyder Cut released, fans expect to have things their way. It's this entitlement that comes from love and passion. And because it's from love and passion, I can't really bash it. I admire that strength, determination and love for this story, but I think we need to manage these expectations and realise that this is a storyline that most likely will never ever happen in live action. Like I said, we have a limited time on this earth, and I want to see and do things that I love. I love the Snyderverse, and I want to see that story completed, preferably in live action, but I won't reject animation just because it's not the ideal way I want to see it happen. Snyder has said if Warner Brothers Discovery came calling, he would happily make Justice League 2 and 3 with them. He said if Netflix were to buy the rights, he would make it with them too. He also was open to it being a graphic novel instead, and he has just said he'd absolutely make them in animation. Snyder just wants the story to be completed. He doesn't care at what studio or in what form that is. Which is why I don't think us fans should limit our request to one studio or one format. And that's that's why I think Restore the Snyderverse is the most relevant hashtag to use if you're going to use one. It encompasses every motive. Wanted in live action? It has you covered. Wanted at Netflix? It has you covered. And if you wanted an animation? It also has you covered. I think we have to be as open-minded as possible with this for it to ever happen. And we are still talking about something that is quite unlikely, but let's not decrease those chances anymore. Snyder vocally saying this is great. It gives us another avenue to go down. So I think this is a great thing to hear. It would be far away from the DCU and anything they are doing. It would be a lower budget, the actors are more likely to return for it, and on top of all that, animation can be really cool. There are tons of very talented animators out there, and with Snyder's visual style, those movies would look incredible in animation. But those are just my thoughts on his comments. So now you have heard what I think, let me know what you think in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.